What's going on guys? It's the Bag of Tricks here and today we're going to try to learn how to avoid this. Oh! So yeah, let's talk about popping or jumping or ollieing or whatever you want to call it. Getting yourself up into the air from the flat ground without a jump or anything to help you. This is something that can be really awkward for newer skiers to learn, but it is an extremely important skill when it comes to the terrain park. Almost every trick you do in the terrain park will require some type of pop. You'll be popping off the lip of jumps when you first start hitting them, popping up on top of rails when you first start hitting rails. Hell, even going straight down a ride on bike box can be made easier with a solid pop off of the end. All that being said, this will take some practice and today I'll be showing you how to do it. There really aren't any prerequisites to learning how to do this, but I will say increasing your strength can definitely help. Skis and ski boots are pretty heavy and getting them up off the ground with nothing but your own power, increasing your strength can definitely help. Now I know you're thinking, it's really easy for me to say to increase your strength when I'm absolutely yoked. But luckily there's also technique involved in this trick and so strength isn't a full on requirement. It's just something that'll make this a little bit easier. All right, so let's hop right into how to do this. Luckily there are some things that you can do at home that are going to help you before you even get on snow, which is why I'm making this video now, because this really is something you can practice on, you know, any type of cushion floor, your carpet, grass, mats like this. So let's throw on our ski boots and get right into the first little drill. So the first thing I want you guys to do is just jump a couple times in your ski boots. While this isn't exactly the same as how it's going to feel, when your skis are on your feet. What it is going to do is give you a good idea of how that added weight on your feet feels when you go to jump. Uh, it's gonna be a lot different than jumping in tennis shoes or basketball shoes or whatever. Before we even put our skis on, let's get a few jumps in in just our boots, feet shoulder width apart, and then you're just gonna jump like you know how to jump. Bend your knees, explode upward, and just Get a good feeling for what that's like in ski boots. Again, it's gonna feel a little weird, it might be a little hard, but do that a few times before you throw the skis on. Okay, so now that we've done that a few times, I wanna show you guys the actual motion that we're looking for when it comes to popping on your skis. We call this trick the ollie because it mimics the skateboard equivalent of the trick. And when you're skateboarding, you don't just jump directly straight up because it's physically impossible on a skateboard. Now, you can do that on skis, but we want to avoid that because if you're just trying to pop the entire ski straight up all at the same time, it's going to be very, very difficult. So what we're actually going to do is when we get down into our squat position, we're going to lean into the tails of our skis and pop those tips up into the air. From there, you're going to jump upwards off of your tails, flattening out in the air, keeping everything parallel to the ground in the air, and then coming straight down. So it's gonna almost look like a wave motion and we're not just doing this, because that, like I said, is gonna be really, really difficult. All right, so now that we know that, let's strap into our skis and try a few on flat ground. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you try to actually get yourself up into the air, just get used to the feeling of squatting down and putting your weight into your heels all kind of at once. It's one motion, so you're gonna squat and push backwards and get those tips up off the ground like that. Think of this almost like trying to wheelie on a bike but on skis. So you're trying to wheelie. Just like that. The next step is the explosion upwards. So you're gonna do that, squat in your heels, get your tips up, and right when your tips leave the ground, that's when you're gonna wanna explode upwards and get yourself up into the air. Once you get into the air, we're going to try to keep our skis as parallel as possible to the ground and try to land all at once. Again, we're not trying to just jump straight up, squat down, lean into our heels, get the tips up, and the second they come up off the ground, we're gonna explode upward. And that should look something like this. Now, I'm not getting a ton of height on this, and you don't have to. You're just trying to get a feel for that motion and for that ollie. 
Now that you've learned how to pop on flat ground without moving, let's talk about the differences when it comes to doing this while skiing downhill. I have some good news for you actually. When you're moving, this becomes a whole lot easier. I'm not really smart enough to know why. There's some physics out there that could explain it, but from experience, ollieing while moving is much, much easier. The only thing we want to avoid when we're moving is that once you get yourself into the air, you really wanna make sure that you don't get your weight too far forward. That could cause you to dig your tips into the ground when you land, and that's never a good situation. So just keep that in mind. But that's all there is to it. Practice on some carpet before the season, and then practice on the hill the first chance you get. You can do this trick anywhere, so you'll be able to practice on day one. It's going to take some time to get used to. It's a little bit awkward at first, just like every trick out there, but it really isn't too difficult at the end of the day, and it's going to open so many doors for you when it comes to the terrain park on jumps, rails, and everything else. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.